Hello guys and welcome to another calculus video. This video is going to be a little bit different. In this video I'm trying to discuss all the sort of different topics and resources that you can use if you're trying to learn integration whether it's um, whether you're starting as a complete beginner or as you or if you've already taken a calculus class but you're not really sure how to take the next step to get into integration B's or JEE type integrals and exotic higher level integrals like the kind of stuff that I solve on my channel. So a lot of people have asked me for resources or suggestions so here I'm just going to kind of go in depth into all the sorts of different types of resources that there are and when you would want to use them for different times. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, you guys can go ahead and join my Discord and there's some there's a few centralized resources there from my integration guide videos to mathematical papers on special methods. Another thing to note is that everyone has different learning styles and math backgrounds so these strategies are based around what worked for me. So they might not work in general for everyone but they can be useful just to you know, sort of point you towards resources that might be helpful. So first of all we have prerequisites for calculus so if you haven't learned calculus yet obviously you're going to have to learn uh, you're going to have to note these basic topics, essentially just algebra, geometry, trigonometry, and pre-calculus. So probably these things should definitely be learned through school, though of course you can find other resources through, for example, Khan Academy or courses on YouTube. Then uh, for, for this topic, I basically just took courses in middle and high school for all of these. So uh, we're more focused on the stuff that comes later in the video. So first of all, your first calculus courses are incredibly important. So, for example, Calculus 1 and 2 in the U.S. system, or essentially the first year of college calculus, are packed with important knowledge for integration, from everything from limits and derivatives, integral theory, rules of integrals, U substitution, power rules, fra partial fraction decomposition, integration by parts, trig sub, and sometimes an introduction to infinite series. These are all important topics that you'll need for integration, and they'll come up again and again and again in higher level problems. So, of course, you, m you really, really have to understand these basic topics and methods before you want to start learning advanced integration methods because they're going to show up at every twist and turn in your journey. So they can also be learned in high school and college, but again, there are numerous, numerous online resources for learning them. this type of content. I l learned all of this content pretty much through YouTube. So some examples of resources that you can use for these, Black Pen Red Pen is my absolute fav favorite calculus channel. Definitely the best resource out there in my opinion. Khan Academy has also some great practice. The Organic Chemistry Tutor has some good videos, and Nancy Pai has some great videos that go in depth into explaining some of these specific methods like uh, use substitution. And these are the resources that I use to learn this content through self-studying, though I did later have to take the calculus class anyway to fulfill credits. So the next thing is where we're sort of going to the next level and going outside of what's typically taught in a calculus class. So this is the, definitely the step that's most important if you plan to go into uh, you know, integration Bs, or if you ever plan to to try and solve integrals on your own, you know, the higher exotic type of integrals that aren't usually covered in classes. So, in general, calculus courses aren't made to prepare you to solve this type of integrals. While test problems require you to only use one method at a time, and you really don't have to come up with any creative solutions. So, for this reason, you'll have to practice tougher integrals with the basic methods if you want to be skilled enough to learn and apply advanced methods. So, this means we're still using use substitution, trig sub, um, and those basic strategies, except now we're learning how to apply them to tougher problems. Maybe we're learning how to combine multiple strategies within one problem. So definitely the best resources for this type of integration is going to be black pen, red pen integral videos. For example, his 500 and 100 integral videos. That's, I believe there's two 100 integral and one 50 integral video, or sorry, 500. Yeah, it's 50. So that's 250 integrals right there completely solved. You can go ahead and try them by yourself. I think if you're at the level where you can solve all 250 of those integrals on site, that's definitely more than enough to pass um, sort of pass this stage in your integration journey. This is Those types of videos are exactly the type of content that I'm referring to here because they're a little bit above what might be taught in a calculus course. You have to actually do some thinking for yourself to try and go ahead and solve those problems. And another good example, a uh, good place to find practice problems for this sort of learning is the MIT Integration B. Uh, more so towards the qualifying exam and the regular season, because those uh, in the qualifying exam and regular season, you pretty much aren't having any advanced methods. Even you won't have any King's property or wire stress substitution in those. But sometimes in the later integrals, you're going to need to be using uh, infinite series some weird substitutions, and some higher strategies. So I wouldn't suggest 
doing, uh, for example, like the semifinals and finals problems, if you're trying to practice this type of integration, just go ahead and check out the uh, qualifying exam of the regular season. Those are also great practice. So I definitely have looked at all of these videos several times. They were so, so helpful when I was learning integration, definitely. So next is stage four in, in this sort of integration journey is probably the most fun. This is learning advanced methods which aren't usually taught in schools. But these can magically reduce the tough, toughest integrals to, to trivial problems. So these methods include, but are not limited to, Feynman integration, infinite series, King's property, the Lobachevsky formula, Laplace, Mellon, and, trans, and Fourier transforms, gamma, beta, and digamma functions, the Weierstrass substitution, contour integration, Ramanujan's master theorem, and of course there's more from there. Now I'm going to go ahead and sort of highlight some ones. If you're going to be going into integration B, for example, MIT integration B, the really the ones that are important here are infinite series, King's property, and the Weierstrass substitution, and also something that may be helpful would be the uh, gamma function here, and also the beta function. And then, uh, these, actually I should do that in blue, but essentially these some of these higher level uh, advanced methods will not really be necessary if you're just going to be doing for example, MIT integration B or, you know, JEE type integrals because they won't go into these um, other methods. But I would I would definitely recommend learning these higher methods if you do plan on trying to solve tougher and tougher integrals like the kind of stuff that I do in my channel. And then also uh, for the Cambridge integration B and some other integration Bs that might um, have some tougher methods, I'm going to use green for that. I know that the Cambridge integration B also covers Feynman integration and the Laplace transform. So those are the next ones that you would want to learn. And then there are some other methods here that are not necessarily integration B level, but they're sort of the level above. And that would be stuff like uh, contour integration here, Ramanujan's master theorem, Mellon and Fourier transforms, and the, the digamma function, where you're not going to really see this in your normal like MIT integration B or Cambridge integration B, but you, you might see them if you're ever trying to solve some higher level problems. So now onto the resources for these types of problems. Number one resource is definitely Inside Interesting Gr Integrals by P Paul Nahan. I have the picture of the book right here. Absolutely amazing book. This is basically the main resource that I use to sort of start learning these topics, and then I solidified my learning through just general YouTube videos that I found just by searching around and doing practice problems from, you know, all sorts of different resources. And then, you know, the other resource that I use was, like I said, YouTube videos. And also, this is going to sound kind of stupid, but I use a lot of Wikipedia pages because Wikipedia is just a great place to sort of find centralized resources where you can find some very compact synthesized information. So you're not, you know, digging through old papers and stuff to try and learn about this method but you sort of get a basic uh, surface level understanding and then you can do some more research and get a deeper understanding later. So this is also where I would like to plug my own channel. I have an entire video series which is dedicated to teaching all of these mes methods that are mentioned up here. I'll go ahead and put a little check mark next to the ones where I've already done this method, I've already done this method, I've done this method, this method, and I've done Laplace and Mellon transforms. I've talked about most of these methods on my channel, so I would definitely suggest going to check out this. Um, I've, I've done pretty much everything that's on this list, actually. So I would definitely, definitely suggest checking out that playlist if you do plan on learning those methods, because I have a series which is designed to give you compact and useful information along with practice and worked examples. That's my channel right here and my advanced integration guide would be the playlist to find that. So again, I hope this video helps you on your integration journey, and always remember that there are more resources and links in my Discord if you need them. I'm also always happy to help with the problem if you need it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.